hat. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is so freaking cute. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to what has been a long time since I have uploaded any videos on here. Now I do really want to get back into uploading so if there's anything you want me to do just let me know in the comments and I will try my very hardest. Now before we get into the video, as you can see from the title, it's quite an exciting one today. Um, I just wanted to talk about this t-shirt right here, the show must go on. I'm going to pop a picture on the screen because I know you can't really see it. And it was made from Theatre Support Fund and it raises money for Fleabag for Charity, Acting for Others and um, NHS, which are three really important causes in this time that need our support and they, they need our money to, in order to do what they do. and. Uh, yeah help as many people as they can now especially in a time when we're really uncertain about what is happening with the theatre industry um it's a really good way to use our money for good if we have um, any that we can spare and just really really help an industry that we love so so much now this t-shirt is 16 pounds and every uh, letter is a font from a different musical which is super cool and if you can name them all i'll be very impressed um, but they also do fridge magnets notebooks um mugs like things like that so there's loads of merchandise on there so go please check them out i'm gonna put all the information in the description box below um i haven't been asked to say anything about it but i would just you know really love to support as much as i can um for an industry that is so dear to my heart but now um let's get into the main video here we go today's video consists of a quarantine lockdown swap box with my good friend danny khan who i'm sure you'll know as danny with the camera um he has filmed what i have got him over on his channel so i'm going to link that video um down below if you want to go check that out um but i am going to open what he got me now there's actually a box and a tube um that goes with it because he couldn't fit them both in the one thing so i have this nice pink tube to open which i'm very intrigued about um all of the things have clues on so that's really really exciting and then i've got this huge box here to open so i'm really really excited to see um what he's got me i think it's such a fun idea to do um with your friends just kind of send them like a pick-me-up package especially during this time when we can't necessarily see each other uh, all the time or at all um so i'm really really excited i'm going to start with the card because the card is actually stuck on the front here because he said that he forgot to put it in the box so let's have a look and see what this says i love that thank you so much can you see that super cute and it says hey darling well here's your swap box i hope it will bring a smile to your face um i don't think oh i do think that i did really well <laughs> lol at least it was so much fun um, there's some stickers to give you a little hint thank you for being my friend and business partner can't wait to see uh wicked front row the moment this is all over yes wicked is probably one of our favorite shows and i just can't wait to get back to the theater so that's super sweet love that um i don't know what to start with i'm so excited maybe i'll start with this tube actually because i'm being really intrigued by this um and the clue on this tube was hopefully more will follow in 2021 um and danny said to me when you read the clue you'll know exactly what it is and i don't know what it is so i'm actually really really excited so let's see <laughs> Um, I've got my scissors somewhere because there's a lot of sellotape on this parcel, which is great, but makes it very hard to break into. Let's see. And I will add, I'm not sure there will be much stagey stuff in here um, because we already have so much like stagey stuff between us that when it comes to these things, it's like, what more can we give each other? Um, but I just thought it'd be fun to share this online and just something that we can look back on this time next year and see what we were doing during lockdown. Okay, and it's a tube. Now I knew it would, I'm thinking it would be some kind of poster because it's in like a poster sized tube. Now how do I open this? Oh my goodness. Very difficult. Okay, it's a print, which is really exciting um, because I'm gonna re be redecorating my room shortly. So let's see, oh, before it rolls away what this is oh my god this is super cute this is can't really show you too much let me take the paper away actually one of the scratch maps i believe so cute i've actually wanted one of these for a really long time and the premise of these is that um 
you put it up on your wall and then when you go somewhere you scratch it off on the map which is really cute so i kind of get the hint now hopefully there'll be more of these in 2021 meaning more travel plans um because we actually were planning on going away um together with a few of our friends this year but obviously due to corona and everything it didn't happen so that is really sweet and now i'm so excited to open the box um yeah just because now where can i put in this not a lot of space <laughs> Put this all back here for a second. Love a good tube. Okay. Now to this massive box. I'm so intrigued because I always love these things because you can just see like how well people know you, I guess, and what they think you would like, which is really fun. But there's so much tape on this standing. I mean, <laughs> it's great. I mean, we um, saw each other for the first time in three, uh, I think it was in 94 days, yeah, uh, a couple of days ago, um, social distance of course, just so we could give each other these boxes because it's quite hard to send things um, this big and also we wanted to make sure that we actually got them and nothing went wrong, um, so that was lovely. I will insert a picture of us um, on the screen uh, from that day. It's just really weird, obviously like during this time we haven't been able to see each other as much as we usually do. Um, as most of you know, me and Danny are in business together. Um, so yeah, it's weird not seeing each other as much as we can. Okay, box is slowly opening. It's probably a very boring part of this video for you. Maybe I'll try and speed this up. <laughs> Very nicely wrapped. This is really cute tissue paper, actually. You can see that nice little spot, which actually, maybe I'll keep for something else in the future. Very cute. A lot of feathers. Um, okay, I don't know what to do. Let's do... Okay, let's do this. This one says, you're addicted on the, on the package. So many feathers. Um, let's see what this could be. <laughs> don't really know what I'm addicted to but oh I mean I'm 100% addicted to this and if you're under the age of 18 this is the one is not for you um but this is a Gordon's pink gin cup um with uh some truffles and a little bottle of gin which is exactly oh you can't really see because of my light but exactly what we need to get us through this time so I love that and I will definitely use this to um celebrate something soon because it's in a really special glass which is super cute goodness it's like christmas or something my birthday um let's do this one for your new room hopefully in a good color okay i'm so excited <laughs> you it's um basically a little rose gold cinema light box um and one of the ones where you can like change the words and i used to have one of the big ones of these um but sometimes i just find the big ones it's not really a lot of space and this is like the perfect cute little size to to put something on so i could like remind myself of maybe when i eventually can go to a show a show um countdown or something fun like that but that's actually really cute uh because i want my room to be like kind of lush pink so it will fit the theme of that very nicely okay let's see let's see um okay we'll do this little one here this says they're way too cute <laughs> there's so many feathers in here my floor after this is going to be a mess let's see let's see I'm loving the choice of wrapping paper super cute oh this is cute um i i like disney i'm not like a huge disney buff but what i do really love is Minnie mouse um literally my favorite and when i went to la last year and like obviously you can queue up to meet all of the characters i was straight there queuing up for Minnie mouse because i was like that's my girl um so danny's got me a Minnie mouse airpod cover which is really cute because yeah, I use my AirPods every day and I've had my case on there for quite a while. So I will definitely switch this over. Um, super, super cute. Love that. Okay. 
Okay, this is as a throwback to the 12th of the 1st, 2020, which was the day that we launched our company, Digi Creative. Um, yeah, we had a party at the Phoenix Arts Club um, and had a launch, which was super cute. And I just loved that day and it was really, really, really special. Um, to both of us, really, we had so many people from the industry and really good friends of ours supporting us. And yeah, it was a super fun day. So let's see. Oh, this is so freaking cute now if you know me well you'll know that one of my favorite singers of all time is Celine Dion um yeah I talk about it all the time I love it and when we had our launch party we had um, a friend of ours Alice Fern sing um, at the launch and when uh she offered to sing she said what do you want to sing um and she sung the spark of creative um because that was just uh tie into what our original name was going to be but she also sung it's all coming back to me now which is my favorite Celine Dion song ever um so Danny has got me this really cute print and it says here it's all coming back to me now and the lyrics are in a heart that just honestly makes my heart because I love Celine and that will just look so nice when I decorate my room I'm not gonna cry about that but he knows that is like probably going to be my favourite because I just love seeing Dion so much. Um, oh, that is so cute. I love that a lot. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, there's so many in here. There's so many feathers. Um, okay, what did this one say? This says, please make them the Digi Creative branded. So let's see what is in here. Oh wow, very noisy. Goodness, it's like package in a package. Oh my goodness. Now, this is hilarious because um, this is something really fun to do, but when I show you it. <laughs> okay, so this is a set which is called Paint Your Own Mug, and it says six ceramic mug markers so you can write whatever you want. So he basically wants me to make them company branded, but the hilarious thing is, well not really funny to anyone else but me, is that I have so many mugs downstairs and when I show my mum these mugs, she's gonna say, not any more mugs please. So maybe I'll make them into cute like pen pots or something and then um, make them branded without uh, TDC colours. But that is so cute because I think in this time that like, you need something to do. Um, you know, we've obviously got our work to do but not enough to necessarily occupy our week all the time and it's just nice to give yourself something to um, take your mind off what is going on and just have a bit of time to yourself away from your phone so I'll definitely be doing that um, and Danny when I do I will probably be on FaceTime too let's be honest um, and we'll do it together virtually okay let's see another good one here it says so we can have a chat let's open that I'm so excited. This is like literally the best day. It made me just so happy in this time. Oh my goodness. So cool. So Danny um, ha basically got me a book that says Dutch in three months, which is so cute. So if you don't know, Danny's from the Netherlands. And actually just recently I said to him, oh, I'd love you to teach me like a couple of phrases. Um, because obviously he speaks English really, really well. And that's such an amazing thing to be able to speak more than one language. But I literally could probably say one Dutch word and that's it. Um, so I'm actually going to read this and see if I can pick up any Dutch. And then maybe we can one day talk to each other in Dutch as well. Um, because that's just so cool. And if I ever get to go to the Netherlands, which I hope I get to do next year. Well, I've been before, but with Danny. Um, it would be cool, like, if I was, like, with his family or anything to, um, to speak to them in Dutch. So... That is super cute and actually, yeah, you're very inventive, Danny. I love it. Okay, let's see. I think this is the last one in here. Let me just make sure I put some of this in here. There's honestly so many feathers everywhere. Um, and when you see what I got Danny, I mean, there's a, he would have had a lot of mess as well. But feathers might be a little bit easier to tidy up than what I did to him. So um, definitely head over to his channel and watch that. This one says, I had these when I was younger and they're vegan. Let's see. <clears throat> oh pardon me so I'm not vegan but <clears throat> since uh the start of the year I decided to try and be vegetarian for Lent I always give something up every year and this year I decided to be vegetarian for Lent um, and Lent ended in April and I've just carried it on um and it's actually made me feel pretty good um I haven't really missed eating meat at all so yeah I'm just trying to keep it up for as long as I can <laughs> this is hilarious <laughs> this is um 
I don't actually know what you want to call it. I think they're called like Pez, these sweets. It's actually a little uh, Arna, which is so funny. Um, I think I've had these before. Like I feel like they definitely are like a European thing. Something that if I went to like Spain or I went anywhere, um, yeah, I would find them there. Um, but this is actually hilarious. So I'm going to eat these little sweets at some point in my Arna. Um, I think that's like, what do you want to call it? Dispenser, I guess. So that was everything that was in my box. Um, I love it. Thank you so much, Danny. Really, really kind of you. And I've really enjoyed the process of, of uh, buying all the stuff, packaging it up and sending it to one another. I just think it's a really good idea to do with a friend or a colleague. Um, maybe you could do a stagey themed one. Let me know if you want us to do another version where we just do uh, stagey items. That would be super cool. And um, to try and find some unique things. And we'd love to do it again, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, stay positive guys. I know this time is super hard for everyone, but the theatre industry will be back and when it does we will be thriving and we'll be stronger than ever and it will be even more special than it was before. But just keep positive, keep as creative as possible and pushing through. Um, we've all got each other to uplift each other during this time, you know. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you again in a video um, really soon. Thanks guys. Bye.